Oh shit, yeah, look, Tina. Yeah. That's a really good choice, I enjoy it. But don't finish it. We're on a date. But you know what the funny thing is? We had a huge argument in the car on the way here. It's because Dina and wouldn't indicate around the roundabout. Now I just want to punch his face in. Dina wouldn't indicate around the roundabout. And Sid wants to give his commentary when I drive. Food has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. I can't remember what I got, but I'm glad I got it. <laughs> Taste mine. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be sharing, do you remember? No, it's fine. Taste mine anyway. Look at that. It's dripping, bro. Do you have one? Mm -hmm. What about your list? Yeah, I have one of mine. It's got everything. No, no, no. Oh, man. Are you having off this? Maybe. Oh. That's the legit. Here's mine then. Oh, it's a Are you spinning this cube? I just see something. We've had breakfast delicious. Now we've come to Cardiff <laughs> we've Town had Centre. Breakfast delicious. <laughs> come to Cardiff Town Centre because basically Sid wants to do some shopping because you all know his wardrobe is rubbish. Come on man. See if I can find <laughs> some vintage gems because I haven't done that in a long time. When there was a point in my life where actually all I would wear is nothing but vintage, so that would be exciting to do that again. Remembers Rockaware. I've just found a Rockaware windbreaker. I used to be obsessed with this brand. Here is the shirt. It's a Looney Tunes one. So I get it. It's only fifteen pounds. That's the only vintage shop I actually found in Cardiff. I oh no, there is another one in the arcades, but I don't like the vibes of it, so I'm not going What's to it. What's the vibes? Found a few nice pieces in this one, but I just thought, am I going to wear this? See, this is how my life has changed since when I was obsessed with vintage. I would like dress up all the time purely for photo shoots and. You know, I was I was just into it, okay? Um, so I really like that Looney Tunes shirt. I, li I liked a few sweatshirts and that, but then I was like, but I've got I Like Me sweatshirts. Basically nothing really stood out that much, so I didn't buy anything. We're supposed to go get a coffee from Nero. Oh look, you can rent out scooters. Oh no, scooter and sales repair. Guys, you know Sid has an electric scooter that I got him for his birthday? Yes, I do. And he never uses it. Yes, I do. We should have come to town on electric scooter. That would have been fun. Yes, I do. They would have liked to see that. Guys, believe it or not, I've never in my life tried bubble tea because I've just always thought to myself, I'm not going to like this. So I've gone and ordered. By the way, Sid's favourite thing on planet Earth is bubble tea. What, what flavour did you get? Oh, I got green apple tea with lychee popping balls. And I I'm got... A basic bitch. Mine is called salty matcha, which is matcha flavour with a layer of cheese on top. So let's see. She hates it. Oh, I actually do not. Well, really? Did you mix it? She said you can either shake it or you can just have it like that. Oh, Sid, it's actually really nice. Really? One thing I love about matcha is so powdery. Oh, taste that. It's delicious. This is doing a bit of shopping. I can't get over how creamy the tea is once I uh, blended the cheese. Sid's buying three jackets, guys. The behaviour of a guy who hasn't shopped in about two years. <laughs> He's got to lean it on his leg. This has got so much. Wow, my mask has taken off all the makeup. The second meal of the day, we've stopped up for to eat some food before we pick up the kids. And then we're going to go home, so I'll see you guys then. Two moments of epic food today. Sid got a... Um, a pond. a pond and I got a rice bowl. I bet you are you jealous of mine? Yeah. This always happens. This always happens because you don't, you don't you need to get rice or noodles. Do you understand? Not soup. They need sauces. Yeah, she said there. Oh no. Why would you need sauces, love? What do you need sauces for? <laughs> <laughs> I love that I get a spoon. And you get chopsticks for your noodles. <laughs> oh, delicious. I love it when your partner 
this is what you want, yeah? But then, yeah, I'm not talking about now, talk about other times. But then instantly regrets it when they see what you choose. Well, Almost. hopefully we don't have a baby. Well, I'm trying to be all cool then, almost bloody went well. <laughs> Guys, I just hit my personal best with double unders. So I was stuck at 33, and now I just hit, hit 36, so I'm happy about that. But I tried to have a really long skipping session, I just couldn't do it because I went to the gym this morning and my legs are like jelly. Kids are back from school, well, just one. And it's one of those days, you know, where you eat. What am I eating? Spanish, sliced Spanish tapas selection. Oh. oh, It's one of those days when you grab some salami style thing with some cheese. And you eat it straight out of the fridge, you know? Why am I flopping on camera? <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep, call it a day, although it's actually quite early, it's only about maybe quarter past nine, but I'm going to try and get an early night because um, I'm tired basically and I haven't slept very well all week if I'm honest with you guys. Last week I came off like the worst period I have had in a long, long time. It was actually awful, it was the heaviest I've had. I was so cranky and angry with everyone. In particular said every everything was annoying me normally when I'm on period I don't notice that I've changed like my mood people just say it but I don't personally notice it but this one oh my god I really noticed it I think it's because I started a new contraception which I can't remember what it's called but basically it's called the mini pill and it's a pill that you take every single day as opposed to the other pill which you take for three weeks then you take a week break which gives you your fake period or whatever. So I've been on that for almost a month. I've noticed a few changes. I don't know if it's sitting very well for me. The first thing I've noticed is my skin. One, two massive ones. And then there's just all the little ones, which sometimes I don't normally have. Actually, sorry, that's three massive ones. I'm getting breakouts, yeah? And if I'm honest with you, when I was on the usual pill, which is the one that you take just for three weeks, then you have like a week break. I, my skin was good on that. I was fine. It was how it should be. And I feel like my moods were fine. Loads of people use the pill and it's not just for contraception. I prescribe the pill for other medical conditions. For example, actually for skin conditions or um, other issues. But basically the pill is not just for contraception, but obviously it is for that as well. Um, so I, when I first got married, I was on Celeste. And I was on that for basically until I got pregnant with Hannah. 
Um, and the reason I got pregnant was because I was actually really lazy with the pill. So that just told me, okay, I was comfortable with having a baby. You have to remember to take your pill at the same time every day or round about the same time. Um, and you have to be quite strict with it because there is a risk of pregnancy then. Like you can't really get lazy with it. Then after Mika, I went back on Celeste for a while. I decided now to go back on the pill. Uh, but I thought, let me just try a different one because actually I hate having a period. My periods ruin me. And they're not necessarily considered like really bad periods compared to like other people that I've heard, how awful their periods and how heavy they are. But for me, my periods, it's like, it's like we have a two week life. We have like a two week of normality um, cycle in our life because the week before your period, I don't know about you guys, but for me, a little bit off, a very, very bloated the week before, incredibly bloated, bloated like I've never had in my life, right? Except I have it every month. <laughs> um, and then after that, there comes this crazy hunger where you just want to eat all the time for like a whole week, by the way. And then you actually get your period. And that's about another whole week in itself. First day is okay. Second day, okay. But then towards the end of the day, it's like getting really heavy. Day three, day four, pretty heavy. Don't really want to go out. Always wondering if something's leaking. Don't want to do a lot of exercise because when you jump, things will either leak or something will fall out if you're using a tampon. Ugh, I actually just hate my period. It puts me, it just, it messes up my routine in my life, you know? Like it actually messes with my head. But then again, so does the pill. But I thought, okay, if I can have the mini pill and not have a period, that would be a bonus. So I went on the mini pill. But then my period came anyway, and it came 10 times worse than a usual one. So I feel like if, it, if my period comes back on the second month that I'm using this mini pill, I'm going to have to go back to the nurse and be like, listen, love, I can't be having a mini pill that's giving me spots. And it's giving me a period that's worse than when I'm on a regular pill or then when I'm on nothing like that's just that just ain't it you know why am I making my life even harder it's hard enough that we have to remember using the pill whilst our partners can just wake up no care in the world I just actually find it really unfair and apparently with the mini pill as well you have like a 12 hour window to take it I've actually missed the 12 hour window a few times and I've been like oh my god if I get pregnant this is gonna be a very difficult time in my life. So as you can tell, obviously I'm not trying to be getting pregnant anytime soon whatsoever because you know how hard I find being a mother. And then the pill itself is like, is literally a teeny tiny pill. And the packet is like a month's worth. And then in the box is like three months worth. So there's one good thing about the pill. It gives you a reminder. I mean, if you remember to look at the packet, it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you know if you've taken it on the day before or not. So lately, I've literally just been forgetting. I don't know what's going on with maybe my age. My memory is just like gone with things that I used to find very easy to remember, like taking my pill. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people have told me to go and get the coil, but the coil freaks me out, not gonna lie. The idea of it freaks me out a little bit. Although I've heard it's very good. So yeah, let me know what you guys are on. The only time I learned about it was when, was before my wedding with Sid. My mum sat me down and she was like, right, you need to pick what contraception you want to go on. Because actually you have to go on it like a month before. <laughs> a month before you're going to decide to be sexually active. If you don't want to like get pregnant straight away, basically. You have to go on it a certain amount of time before, I can't remember. It might not be a month, but... Oh, I put Regain in my head, by the way. That spray with the foam that I was massaging, that was Regain for women, which is a minoxidil kind of like spray thing which helps with hair growth. I've spoken about it before to you guys in case you're wondering. I've used it for going on two years, highly recommend it also by the way. I've used it every day for about two years. So yeah, anyway, sorry guys, I was just venting then um, because I literally came off the worst period. Even Sid was like, what has gotten into you lately? Because he's used to my, my usual period mood swings but last one was just like, I was literally just Going, I was even going off at the kids, poor kids, because I was just, I had no patience for anything. I figured this page is majority females, and I think it's about time we talked about female issues on here. Um, this being one of them. I feel like the older I get, the more I want to talk to you guys about things that 
I grew up being thinking they were quite um, taboo topics or feeling like I wasn't able to ask questions or I wasn't able to bring up subject matters because I don't know for what reason but honestly nowadays the more educated we all are the better I'm telling you now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it almost turned into a food vlog it did because we were going to go out again today and eat but then we decided not to and we actually did a lot of work instead which I'm actually glad about because tomorrow is Friday and Mika's not in nursery so Friday is usually quite a lazy day. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now because I'm the one who has to edit this. And I will see you on the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Toodaloo. Okay.